I am Jillian Schaefer, and I am the server, uh, morning server on Saturdays and Sundays. So this is uh, Patrice's, you know, who's the owner of the restaurant. This is her little utopia. Yeah, yeah basically it's like vegetarian comfort food. It's, uh, you know, she focuses on using whole ingredients and she tries to use healthy things as much as possible. Like, there's no trans fat in anything. There is, uh, you know, she uses thing with no high fructose corn syrup. Uh, almost everything we use is cane sugar instead of, you know, highly refined sugar. So um, basically the kind of food that we serve is like burgers and sandwiches and fries, um, lots of breakfast stuff, French toast, eggs, hash browns. We have a few different salads and she usually has like a couple different soups as well. My favorite, I think the, the star of the show here is the creme brulee French toast. It's really good. <laughs> Because we're actually in a neighborhood where there's a few people wandering in off the street that may not normally eat at a vegetarian restaurant, but give it a try because they're here and, you know, they just sort of want to try it. But, you know, the people that come in on a regular basis are, are um, there's a lot of people in their 20s and 30s, it seems like. Um, lots of people that are health conscious or have food allergies. And um, we, we actually do get a fair amount of older people in here too, so it's, it's kind of like a really good mixture of different kinds of people. The way to convince people is that, you know, probably close to half of the world eats a, veg or a mostly vegetarian diet, you know, <laughs> exactly. So, and people have been doing it for, you know, a long time. People have been able to do it healthy. You just have to kind of be aware of what you're eating and, you know, um, just learn how to uh, supplement your diet with things like amino acids, and um, you know, learning how to make a complete pro protein with um, with things like legumes and grains, and um, you know, just other forms of natural protein, beans and substitutes. Now are really good about like including the vitamins that you get from milk. Like they have calcium and they have vitamin D, which is really good. And almost all of like the milk alternative products, or at least Silk, which is like the biggest brand of soy milk, is organic too, which is really good. I think our veggie burgers are amazing and some people, I know some people have sent them back because they're like almost too real tasting, that they, that they almost don't like that because like it tastes just like a burger, so exactly and it's like a healthier, it's more of a whole grain form of protein than animal protein and yeah, it's just really good. I was definitely an animal activist in high school, it was in the first things that I did when I, when I started into activism. Um, I went vegetarian when I was 16, and I know I told you this before, but it, it was a result of like uh, being turned on to Buddhism and feeling like I was a very important part and that everything I do affects everything else and that I vowed not to harm any living beings. So that was when I became a vegetarian and I also, um, yeah, I got interested in activism and got a, um, an activist kit from PETA and uh, tried to get the dissection of animals taken out of the curriculum at my high school. Patrice has created something visually that's really pretty cool and um, you know yeah we're just laid back you know we're very you know friendly on most days. <laughs> Being a vegetarian can be kind of hard especially you know if you're going out to eat a lot and people don't have very interesting vegetarian options so I don't know. Um, I guess advice to vegetarians is to just like be open-minded and you know don't be afraid to stay at home and whip something up in your kitchen or, you know, to try a new restaurant or to try um, different kinds of, like, ethnic food because a lot of times you can find something really good that's vegetarian that you've never had before, so.